protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Well, will this be the last month of an open and uncensored internet as guaranteed by the U.S. government? Well, a lot of lawmakers are saying that's exactly what could happen if Obama gets his way and hands over American stewardship of the internet at the end of this month. Now, it's, it appears that a lot of congressional leaders are actually against this plan. They say they want to re rescue the internet. These are top Senate and House Republicans. They've all signaled that they're going to ensure U.S. oversight continues to protect the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, or ICANN, and its stakeholders. Uh, they sent a detailed letter late last week um, saying this irreversible decision could result in a less transparent and accountable Internet governance regime or provide an opportunity for an enhanced role for authoritarian nation states. And they focused on several fatal problems within Obama's plan. Uh, they talk about several countries being committed to ending ICANN's status as a U.S. legal entity. This would invalidate its legal protections. It might offer the opportunity for an authoritarian government to swoop in and say, we'll make you a legal entity of our company, our country, you know, just do our bidding. And also they talk about ICANN uh, being able to become an unregulated monopoly if it is not part of the uh, U.S. commerce. But what's really interesting is we have a lot of tech giants coming out and saying that it's imperative for the U.S. government to go ahead and hand over U.S. Uh, stewardship of the Internet. These are tech companies including Facebook, Google, Twitter. They're urging Congress to support this plan for the U.S. government to cede control of the Internet's techn technical management to the global community. They say it's long overdue. So the U.S. Commerce Department has primary oversight of the Internet's management. That's largely because... It was invented in the United States. Uh, Republican lawmakers, of course, are trying to block this handover to global stakeholders. This includes businesses, tech experts, and public interest advocates. They say, of course, this could stifle online freedom. Um, now, this is something that they've been working on for several years. Uh, but again, these tech giants are saying, it's imperative, Congress, you must do it. Uh, give this to the global community. It's kind of frightening because we've actually already seen how tech giants like Google and Apple have had to alter a lot of the services that they provide to their customers in authoritarian countries like China just so they can do business there. And of course, we've seen how Facebook and Google are actually uh, rigging the elections here in real time based on switching the algorithms or deciding what could become a trending topic. So this is kind of scary that these tech giants are basically um, ushering in an ultimatum to the government saying this is imperative you've got to do this when we have no idea who is going to get control it's going to be these globalist stakeholders who really don't have the best interests of the united states at heart like they say they do because we see they're already openly and actively anti-First Amendment as it is right now. So we can kind of see the writing on the wall. And, you know, just another little story to let you know how important it is to protect your Internet. Here's a story coming out of Candom County, New Jersey, um, talking about an unsecured Wi-Fi connection could lead to a scary case of mistaken identity. Uh, investigators with the Camden County Prosecutor's Office said a man used his neighbor's open network to download and distribute thousands of images of child porn. And they actually bust into these people's home at 5.30 in the morning. They raided their home, uh, got them out of bed. They were seeking the person responsible for downloading and sharing tens of thousands of images of child pornography. Uh, they went into the cu couple's computer. They found nothing, but then they soon discovered that it was actually their open Wi-Fi network. It wasn't password protected. And so... Uh, Louis LaSalle used a wireless router to connect to his neighbor's unsecured Wi-Fi, downloaded and distributed more than 700 pornographic videos and 33,000 images found on his laptop. My goodness. And so they say a lot of um, older folks or, you know, younger people out there who are just trying to do their little socialist j duty by keeping their Internet open and free for everyone to use. Well, you are setting yourself up uh, to not only hackers, but to obviously be used in a big scam like this where this could take you down. Lord knows what could have happened if we had some trigger-happy police officers raiding this family's home. Of course, most importantly, make sure the password on your Wi-Fi network is something very difficult, not easily guessable or hackable. And of course, there is some software out there that will track and monitor people who are um, getting onto your network in, in real time, who's putting in passwords, who's accessing it. So look out for yourself.
We have the new product at InfoWarsLife.com, BioTrue Selenium. We've had so many requests over the years for selenium, and just recently, we were able to source a certified organic bioavailable selenium from mustard seed extract. When you take selenium in the body, it actually benefits the detoxification systems in your body. It helps balance the thyroid gland. It helps detoxify. Selenium is another one of those absolute must-haves. The highest concentration of selenium is in the thyroid gland, but it's actually used all over the body. As a matter of fact, there's 25 genes in the body that are directly dependent upon selenium. So it really is a all-around nutrient that everybody really needs. I'm taking it now every day. This is so key. BioTrue Selenium is the product, the best selenium that we could bring you. We believe it's the best out there at a very, very low price. Exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139.